This week on the show, we're featuring Prey Night, 16 Jokes, an update on Tup That Ruby. And there may not be much here, but you'll still regret it. Why did the artist keep drawing animals? Because he had a wild imagination. 
Let's start the show. Hello, welcome to the program. <clears throat> Let's get started, shall we? Oh, we got Perth here. Now it's a show. And Colette made it. I was like, man, I hope she can make it. You know who made it? Me. Finally. Mr. Chugs. Mr. Chugs the Doo. Hey, right now I kind of look like beer jugs, don't I? But without the... I look like the brown... The brown... Foamy-headed... Beer. Cheers! Number one. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah. Good old that. <clears throat> so looking into head cameras thinking about that thinking about uh well there there was a guy and shout out to his channel black open direct he was live and he had a lot of people watching 500 it made me think maybe if i had a better camera view that might help might get might get people to enjoy watching the show a little more I want you to enjoy watching the show, and I really want you to enjoy watching the show more. So maybe that would help, because there's a few times when I was reviewing this video to make sure I had the right one, I was like, mm -hmm. and there it is, too. I just saw the the triangle, the, the little piece I just cut off. That's the gem. Yeah, that was a weight, that gem in the corner, that was a waste piece. I was like, well, we could grind it off. But I think we should shave it off with the saw. Then we can save it and make it into a little thing or something. Look at what happened to it. It's got like a light inside of it. It's so lively. I like it. It's great. I'm enjoying that pee. Oh, we're about to cut the blap. The blue appetite. You have jugs. I got jugs. I got two gal two liter bottles. They're a bottle. Hey, and we're going to do this, and uh, I should probably make sure my safe filter is on. Perth, we are going to look up the difference between a bottle and a jug. Bottle versus jug. Oh, I spelled it with two G's. No wonder. Yeah, we'll take a jug off of there. Jug is a vessel. Circular cross section, typically higher than it is wide. Relatively small mouth or spout and a handle. Okay, a jug is a serving vessel. 
So a jug, th I, th I guess the way that it explains it here is that a jug is something you pour into another thing, and a bottle is something you can drink directly from. A bottle is a dwelling. Bottle can be a container, typically made, let's see, glass, tapered neck. Oh, there's a whole Wikidiff. Dot com. Yep, we're going to actually check out the difference. Jug, serving vessel, handle, mouth at a jug can okay. Um Yeah, it gives some vernacular. Jail, breast, kettle, band, and bottle. So a bottle can be a building or a house. It can be bottled up. I wish we had a little bit more of the entomology. Let's look that up. We're going to define jug. That, so that sounds like a caveman word right there. Jug. Oog. Erk. Jug. Large container for liquids. Narrow mouth. You know what I find with a jug is usually like a pitcher of a pitcher. Finding a lot, finding a lot of pitchers of pitchers. Stew or boil. Wait, what? Jug? Oh, you can jug something. So it's a verb. All right. So let's see. Back to the 1800s, mid 16th century, perhaps from jug. Pet forms of the given names Joan, Joanna, and Jenny. So jug came from the word jug. Way to go, Google. Now we're looking at bottle. And somebody came up. Uh, define the word bottle. A container made of glass or plastic, narrow neck, use so uh, blah, blah blah blah, soft drinks and soaps, whatever deever. 1800s, late Middle English, from Old French, batel, medieval Latin, buticola, diminutive of late Latin, batus. Cask, wineskin, see butt. Okay, you gotta butt it up. Whoa. Huh. So I guess that was a whole bunch of we don't know what we're talking about. Welcome to the English language. I've noticed since, uh, I don't know, I was probably in my mid 20s that using words to communicate is futile. But I bought a microphone anyway. Yeah, we're going to have a better microphone for the show. Hey, Christina and Sun Ghost Squad's here. All right. You have jugs. Guys are here called booties jugs. Booty jugs. Oh, Jacob. Wavy hands, heart, my YT hubby. Yeah, welcome to the show. We got... We're, we're actually I'm I, I don't have a whole lot in terms of footage for this week and I was like hmm I could either put the pray night up or the blap because those are the only two I got done this week I got a lot of them that are really close to being done they're really cool because I got to get them tuna on doctors gems out and they're really close to being done and then we got to get some stuff to call it that's really important because Colette got some rubies in the mail and I'm gonna show you some actual real rubies on the tough that ruby update portion also I thought I would give you a little little clue I found something I found a source I've been wanting a source that updates I'm just gonna be a re reposter right until I can actually get out in the world and be a reporter <clears throat> but I'm a, I'm a broadcaster of the reported news. I found a news source and we can revamp or uh, resurrect 
the gems in the news portion of the program. I think we're going to try and bring that one back. Don't we like gems in the news? The, all right, here. I'm going to tell you the gems in the news thing. I'll t I'll look up gems in the news, and there's nothing that's ever really that exciting. And if I'm not excited about it, why are you going to be excited about it? Well, that's really hard to do to get my mouth to go down and up. And <laughs> okay. Stop playing with the camera, Jacob. Show them your furry hand. It's like a like a it's the lighting, but it's like like I'm like Wolfman Jake. Cheers to the furry hands. Mm. That sounds weird. You know, I was listening to some podcasters and they were like, okay, I gotta go an hour without taking a drink and it just drives me nuts. And I was like, you know, every time I take a drink on the show, it's kind of, it's a pause, it's dead air. I, uh, it kind of gets in the way. It's not very good on the microphone, which I got a microphone. We're going to try a better microphone. Hopefully we can get you some better sound without that whine. Because I can't hear it here. I have to listen to the playback to hear that whine. And it is the microphone. Listen, I'll mute it out. And it goes away. It's Boop. Dead air. Welcome to the show. Chris the Phenomenon made it in, and I didn't have the chatbot lined up. Yeah, I'm going to fire that up. Let's get that chatbot going. Is the video... Yeah, the video's done. All right. First, we'll do the chat bot because it, it's like connect, and then you click on this, and then you go connect, and then we're done. And that's the chat bot. And we only have one video apparently of Liz Pray Night Try One. I thought, I, you know, maybe there's two of them, but it's so close to being done already. I mean, look at that thing. Maybe I could play the video where I sourced it. It's so close to being done, and I was like, <clears throat> it's not going to be much. But gall darn if this thing just ain't just, you know, pretty. It sure is pretty. It's nice. Boom, fire it up. It, yep, we got the chatbot fired up. Man, it's so good to see y'alls in here. Oh, these lazy YouTube bots. Yep, just not getting going. Let's start the show. I have arrived. Yeah, and the show's like half over because I don't have a lot of content. Let's fire up this microphone, scope, scope of phone, and we'll give you all a little up close feature of the Prey Night. Won't that be nice? So, Prey Night grows in these normal yellow grape shapes. Kinda moundy, grapey, moundy grape mounds. I wonder if there's a better way to do this. Settings. Changing to the OBS. Oh, we gotta power it up, that'll help. <clears throat> doo doo doo. We'll take the cap off. See if we can get it to show. Beep. Blam. Bing. Man, look at that light inside of there. I mean, there's the light from the microscope light. Maybe I can turn that down a little bit. Boy, that l overlay renderer is not working at all, is it?
Yeah, it's a little better with that light turned down. Boy. That just comes through so well. It's like there's a little life inside of it. It reminds me of a guitar pick and a shark's tooth. Ooh, I wonder if there's a big enough shark's tooth you could make into a guitar pick. I mean, I know there's Megalodon teeth, and Chris, I think that Megalon, Megalodon teeth go for like 500 bong, bing bongs or so. Um, they're, they're pricey, you know, uh, and they're big. They're like fist sized. So you could probably find a smaller shark's tooth or if, it, you know, if nothing else, you could carve one out of a Megalodon tooth. And that would be cool. Yeah, look at that light inside of there. Isn't that cool? That's from the stone's beauty. Bing. I was like, nah, this thing's gorge. And I'm just like, yep. And we, we smoothed it off, and we can't even get this thing to work, and we paid 40 freaking dollars for it. Sheesh. Okay, so that's high quality. Maybe we can do small file size, ASF. Let's try that. Video format, default, um, standard render, none, and we got nothing. Priority? Hey, maybe that'll help. Nope, it did not help. Enhanced? Nah, that's probably not good. Just depends on how long it lets us play with it. Oh, there we go. It, it really helps turning down the camera, doesn't it? Turning down the lights. So they're not so bright. There. So now you got an idea. And those little sparkles in the corner, those are inside the, the stone itself. Let me show you a piece of uh, rough prey night. So you can get an idea of what we started with. And actually, I was that's what I was going to say it, earlier is that Maybe I can show you the video of me cutting the bigger piece down from a rough piece. And that'll give you the idea of what it is that we're working with. Hoot and holler, call it S is the baller. Stunning glow. Thanks, call it. I bet I could play a gemtastic song with it. Oh man, I bet you could, Chris. Dude. There you go. See how it starts down here and it kind of radiates out? It starts from this black stuff and radiates outward. And see there's one over here and one over here. And when they get big enough and grow out far enough, they, they, they sort of turn into like a big ball of grapes. And they have this little rabbit fur pattern on top. Let me show you another piece of... Nope, that's Prey Knight. Nope, I have Peridot. Which one is it? I don't know. There's so many gems. So many gems. Here's a bigger piece of that black stuff that it comes out of. Once I can get it to actually work. So that's set to default. That's small. That's standard. We don't care about the audio device. PCM? Whatever that is. Okay. So there's the, the stuff, the matrix that it comes out of and then it grows outwardfully. Well, this is a bad example. Let's see, where's that piece that had like the, there it is. Okay, so I was showing you the rabbit fur. There you go. There's a rabbit fur look for you, sort of. And I also have another one that still has the rabbit fur look on it that's mostly shaped. <clears throat> and I think I kind of want to leave it on here. I tried to actually polish it up and get like the dust out of there, but 
the methods I was using didn't really seem to work. It was wearing too much on the stone. Um, I think, and I mean, it's not it's it's not like it's dirty. It's not like this is stuff that's packed into the cracks. This stuff is down in the stone. It starts as the rock, and then as the crystal grows, and the, the at, think of it like ice. You know, water, when it aligns, it starts to grow out and cracks. Same thing with this. This is the concrete going outward. So this stuff is embedded down into the crystal. You can't just, like, scratch it out of there with a toothbrush. So I thought, you know, chemicals or something, but that wouldn't really work. And that would also eat at the stone. It might help if we had the right one, but I don't know if I really want to get into working with you know, chemicals and such on my stones. So you gotta deal with ventilation and masks and safety glasses and gloves and boots. And you know, it's it's just easier to there we go. It gives you kind of the the, the look of the grain of the actual crystal. It grew up from this bottom area here. And there's a little bit of rainbow in it. And it's a beautiful stone. I love working with Prey Knight. I didn't think I would, because everything I see is like a, you know, it's like a, a little bead or something. Because a lot of it, I mean, a lot of this stuff isn't, isn't really gem grade. That's why when I was able to get this piece with this light in it, I was like, yeah. I wonder where Jeanette is. I sent her a piece of prana. I wish I'd have polished that a little better. I was out of sandpaper at the time, and I got some more sandpaper, so that's okay. We got the sandpaper on lockdown. After lockdown. Oh, anyway. What kind of uncut gems did I receive last? Oh, Chris, that's a piece of um, Apache's tear. That's an actual unshaped Apache's tear. Yeah. You got an Apache's tear straight out of the ground in Arizona. Is anyone else using gemstone powder on their fruit trees other than me? Chris, I poured a bottle on my cherry tree and it healed the canker. Mm-hmm. Wow, it's furry. Yeah, it's a furry little stone. Looks just like ra it feels like rabbit fur too. It has like that rabbit furry feel to it. I don't know, it's it's really rabbit furesque. There's that piece with all the the fur on it that I was showing you. Bling. It's a nice, big, clean chunk. I mean, this thing, if I cut that fur off of there, it'd be a really beautiful gem. I almost kind of want to keep that texture on there, but then again, uh, I don't know, maybe not. Here's the feature. There's the feature. Look at that light in there shining around like a little, little ball of play. Bling, bling. Bling, bling. Yeah. I like this gem. It's a nice little prey night tri gem, and it's curvy, right? It's got the curviness on the the like the the little ends of it there. I like that. Maybe it's just me. And I'm gone because I clicked the wrong button. Ah. So, um, yeah, I, I you know I I am ready for Christmas already because I Christmas shop early. It's going to be a little while before we get into that. But man, I might start singing Christmas songs and I figured I'd explain to you why. Turn that off. There we go. Not exactly sure why it's having render problems. It's probably got something to do with K-Lite. K-Lite doesn't get along with anything on my computer. I wonder if it's because it's older software. Either way, we've got 
Let's see, we've got some rubies, we've got... I want to get that stones in the news thing back. <clears throat> I don't know, do you guys really care about stones in the news? Because really the only newsy, like, stones in the news is like this really cool stuff that's been found. And I was like, well, uh, you know, I could show you guys prices give you, you know, a weekly update on prices. It's like the gems in the news finance portion and the gems in the news discovery portion. Maybe that's what I should do. <clears throat> All right, here's the plan, folks. We're going to hype it. Yep, we're going to hype it up. Kind of like I've been doing at the start of the show. Shout out to the Red Green Show. I, I've been uh, re-watching the old Red Green show, which I haven't seen it, you know, since I was like 14. And I was like, you know, the way that they have transitions throughout the show, and they had, like, so, well, sort of like the joke portion, how I made that intro, that little intro to the joke portion of the program. That's my attempt at adding transitions, and it, it's kind of rough. That's why I haven't added a lot more of that stuff to the show yet, but I'd like to get there. And it kind of made me think, you know, if we could add a little bit more in terms of content in the way of hype, then it, it, maybe it would make the, the gems in the news more exciting. So we could be like, new discovery, and then it go pink, pink, and it'd have like a rock pick sound. And then like, there could be like a mountain that goes, it goes pink, pink, and then you'd see the picture of the new gem. Boy, if I had the time to create good content. And not stream a half quarter show. Yeah, I changed that word there. Cheers, because you're number one. The old ones are great. The old one. And the duck tape. The duck tape. <laughs> Helps when you read the whole sentence. Chris, I read that like three times and I was like, and the duck. All right. This is, this is me and my brain while I'm streaming and my mouth's going blah, 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 like a set of Pringles coming out of the can. I read that and then I, I, I made the conscious decision in my head and said, all right, I'm going to have to read some of the older comments to understand this. Let's start reading older comments while our lips are flappering. That's what I, that's what I should do. I should just get, like, a fan that blows on my lips, and they just go sit here and go like this, and then you'd be like, oh, he's talking, right? And then I could, you know, stop and read the comments. Night before Christina and Ghost Squad were at Christmas, and not a creature was stirring except for Chris. Dina and Ghost Squad and Son and Chris, the phenomenon. It's just fantastic. Y'all's amazing. Like that orange shirt that I got on, right? With those blue gloves? Man, I could wear that to public. I should wear that. Oh man, why does it keep zooming in on my hairy wrist? I'm such a manly hairy man, but it I shaved my beard off. Mm. Which reminds me, I'm almost getting to where I need another haircut. Look at that. We're getting a pretty long billow of hair. It's it's laying down cuz I didn't I didn't take a shower before the show. But I, I took a shower today. Just saying, but I I was so sore from all the like cold weather, hot weather, cold weather, hot weather days that we've been having. I think it's hard on my bones. I was just kind of sore, you know. And I figure maybe I'm getting old, or maybe I wasn't aware of that when I was younger, and I just had good days and bad days. And now I can sense the difference between the good days and the bad days. And what makes me feel better? And not quite so better. Or not. Some styling gel. Oh, Chris, dude, could you imagine if we was like, you know, mohawking it up? We could just 
Oh, dude, we should do that. We should make one of them English punk rocker points coming straight off of the front of my head. And then I could use it as a rock pick. And then here's what we'll do, Chris, is we'll do it with super glue and epoxy. And we'll actually, like, bridge it down into my forehead and see if I can pick a rock apart with it. What do you think? Yeah, that would be cool. Right on the show. Be a really big feature. Jacob splits a rock with his hair. Mm -hmm. And some hair on your chinny chin chin. I actually, I, I shaved today a little bit. But it was earlier when I took a shower. I don't know. You ever shave when you're in the shower? I just find it easier because it's like you got the water running. You get to soak up some of that excess water. It's kind of like upcycling. You know, because you got the water running while you're shaving, and you got it. And, and I don't mean, you know, I don't sit there and shh, 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 because that kind of gets into the question. <clears throat> so let's say that you're trying to save water, right? And you turn the faucet on and off a whole bunch. Eventually, the faucet mechanism is going to wear out faster, it's got a limited number of on offs. And so then the manufacturing facility makes another faucet. So the question is, how often do you like where where do you do you on off and the amount of time and what's the lowest impact and that's too much decision making. Cause is it really significant figures? is what they say. Like let's say that you're drawing a let's say that you're drawing a you're, you know a pencil on under a microscope is this wide. Your li your pencil line is this wide. So if your measurement has to be accurate to within this much, it's not going to help because your pencil is too big to be that a I shave all my time when I'm in a hurry in the shower with my legs, my arm and other parts. There you go. Yep, you gotta shave them. Other parts. All the my eyebrows. Gotta shave them off. Gotta shave my nostril hairs because they get really big. Actually, I I had one grow big. I had a nostril hair get like long, and it was like over to the other side, tickling it. And I was like, gee whiz! And I actually got out like this pair of like nose scissors that have little scissors on the end and the long handles because like I got this little pack and it's got it's like a travel pack or something it's got a file and a comb and, a, and I pulled out these little scissors and I went snip and I was like oh man no more tickle Jacob's got a healthy nose crop yeah you guys want a wig I can grow you one out of this nostril apparently it probably has the key to baldness right in that hair itself. Shower fresh and shaven. Listen, you have not read one sentence, right? Well, I, yeah, I don't read them right. I read them left. You go left, you go whichever side that is to the other side. That's how you read. Yep, correct. And the duck tape. Chris, I, I like the 94, 95, 96, 97 seasons. I think those are probably the best. 95, probably. Really great episodes. I was just watching him do some body work on the car, and it's it's it lampoons a handyman trying to do the body work, and I, I mean, any handyman understands the troubles that we have to go to and that's where the humor is the humor is in you know making making you feel like you're you're good for having actually figured out how to get past all this trouble so many little details so many details like in this little prey night oh man this thing was driving me nuts it's a curvy gem, and curvy facets are so hard to cut, especially on these dull laps I got. Man, these laps are so dull. Which reminds me, I got some new laps on the way. Everybody, thank Colette. She's so sweet. She sent two. Yeah, not, not just one, but two 
huge boxes of Roxes, like 30 plus pounds each. Yeah, so we got a lot of rocks to look at, a lot of rocks to talk about, a lot of rocks to go over. But also, she helped out the show. She sent me some cash so I can get some more laps. Yeah, that's awesome, right? So cheers to Colette for being so awesome and helping us out and getting some more laps for the show so that I can shape some more gems. Because these things, they, they dole out, and they're like $10 a piece, 10 or $12, depending on where I get them and, and what time of the year I get them. Is that the end of that video already? Wow, that is the end of the prana. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you <clears throat> the earlier video of that piece of prainite, if I can find it. Or if I can't find it, we'll show you something else. There we go. Okay, so this is a video. It's a few minutes long. I think I'm going to actually show you the update on Tough That Ruby while I let this uh, roll. Then we'll do the joke portion of the program, and then we'll have a little shout out. Because I didn't cut into the Ruby this week. There you go. That's the whole thing as I bought it. That's what I bought. I bought, I got like four of those things in a lot for about $5.50. So that thing there is about $1.12. And I wound up getting two possible gems. The one that's the feature and then I got another thing which was gonna be the gem but it's not because I don't know how to finish it and I can't decide and I gave up for now I got a lot of those I didn't get it's not really giving up so much as it's kinda of waiting out and hoping for inspiration hoping for the the gem to decide what it wants cuz look this is a pretty piece I mean you're about to see me shape the piece that both the feature and this piece and I split them off it's nice but it's it's like it's uneven and in order to even it up like it's not like I can just straighten this side because this side's the side with the problems. So these need to come off first and then we can decide. And there's some problems down here. So I'm not exactly sure where we're going with that. But I mean, it, man, it sure is a nice little gem. So we'll get to that one eventually. Eventually. Oh, that's right. Let's tell you to up that ruby. Okay, so if we turn this on, I can show you a couple of the rubies. Okay, so those are last week rubies. Can we show... Let's see, this is a point of amethyst, and it's not a ruby, that Colette sent, and it's way too big for the camera. Here's some garnets in Matrix. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? We're gonna get to those eventually. Oh, yep, it's not being nice to me today. There you go. Yeah, chunk of matrix. There's some garnets in there. There might be bigger garnets. I doubt it based on the weight of it, but you never know. There could be bigger garnets in there. I mean, this is a really cool piece. And then, you know, there's some other stuff. We got this whole big bag of oddities. And yeah, we got some great. There, There's this huge chunk of obsidian, like this big and she packed it with candy 
and there's like Tootsie Rolls and like Tootsie Pops crushed just totally dusted and there's like Tootsie Roll like the long Tootsie Rolls just bing sheared clean off by the obsidian it's crazy but I'm supposed to show you rubies where are the rubies Jake Shablizablam! And you can't even see them. That's not even them. Good job with the show today, buddy. No, we're not showing the sapphires. I've got some more stuff on the way, too. Let's lemon. Oh, here we go. C Ruby. That stands for Colette Ruby. I labeled it all C Ruby. All right, I don't know if I showed you this uh, last week or not, but I'm going to show you this week. This is a little box of some ruby pieces. Check out the shape on this guy. It's like already there already. Right? And it's got some neat pinks in it. This is going to Colette. She said, I want some rubies, so I bought her some rubies. This box was like four dollars and 25 cents somewhere in there on that order and some of these chips are really thin but they've got really neat color and let me tell you the benefit of them being thin okay so it's like oh they're just thin so that sucks but actually it doesn't and I'll tell you why once I change this to overlay renderer so they're really light weight and the cool thing is that I mean this this corundum is really hard see you can't they ain't no breaking that not with your hands so you could make these into natural rings and they're not gonna be heavy they're not gonna be bulky they're they're right there you can lay them flat you could even just glue them down with super glue and then you'll have yourself a gem on a ring be a ruby. Actually, I should do that for Colette. Let's look at that. Maybe we, not necessarily this piece. Maybe I can polish this one up so there's not so much white matrix in it. That white matrix is marble, by the way. Let me see if I can show you this this little thing. We're going to do that because I have, I bought 25 costume rings for 5 bucks. Which means they're like 50 cents a piece. So we can take this costume ring and oh yeah, look look at the space between the the ram's head and the disc and the ram's head and the disc. See how it's not centered? That's why they're cheap. Cuz they're not centered. If you put the stone a big enough stone on there, it doesn't matter. What do you think, huh? The color's not really coming through. Let's see if I can show you on the main cam. Bing. Be something kind of like that. We just glue that on there. That'd be cool. We'd send that to Colette. Shh, don't tell her. It's going to be a surprise. Yeah, that'll be awesome. We're going to do that. I'll put that in there so I remember. Let's see. Where's the other C Ruby? It stands for Colette Ruby. Lemon. Oh, there it is. It was sitting there the whole time. I'm like, what does C Ruby stand for? Oh yeah, one of these pieces. Yeah, these pieces have a lot less marble on them. <clears throat> so yeah, like this piece here. It's got that marble on the back. That's all right. That'll help hold the stone down. Look at that. That would make a really neat piece for that ring, wouldn't it? I've got a lot of these rings. That other ring's still in the box. This is a different one. And yes, this one is off center too. Look at that. Wouldn't that be ring tacular? That's what I should do, man. I should open up Facebook and be like, okay, I'll glue one of these on one of these rings and ship it to you. Twenty bucks, Ruby Ring. Real natural, untreated costume ring. Straight from Jacob. But that is an expensive price for a cheap costume ring. And what did I pay for these? Let's see, there's 12 of them. Because that's uh, three lots right there. 
uh, when I pay like five bucks a, a lot for these chips so yeah it's like 40 cents a thing and 50 cents for the ring plus five dollars shipping so yeah I'd have to be at least 10 and then you know to make it worth my time to and the gasoline and the wear and tear on the car and I take all those things into account a, a strip of tape one strip of packing tape about a, a foot long 1.5 cents yeah to 2.5 cents depends on the quality of the tape and how wide it is but typically 1.5 cents it adds up you know when you're talking about 10,000 packages then you're talking about uh, hundred dollars in tape alone yep that's light coming through there on that this thing is so cool and a nice little box of chips that's probably the best chip in that box though too a lot of these chips are like oblongy or smaller so then it's like hmm should we shape it up differently some of them are really neat little pieces so um <clears throat> those are rubies but what about that ruby tell us what up that ruby huh what's up that ruby we're getting close to the end of it I'm gonna try and cut the ruby this week so that I can show you the inside of it a little farther yeah we gotta turn the light up so you can see there we go alright so these pieces see the light in inside of them they have a little bit of depth to them there's a little bit of clarity in there alright there you go this this piece over here look at the little light inside of there see that little red sparkle moving back and forth on us yeah so there's a little bit of clarity in there so what I want to do is I want to shave it down this side see this big crack here I want to shave it down that and split it there so we're gonna separate it on this crack and uh, hopefully I can show you that next week so you can get yourself another update on up that ruby which basically means it's time to prepare for this other part of the show Notice I'm going a lot of passes on that. It's because my laps are dull. Need better laps. But that's okay. We got new laps on the way. I'm so excited. They're actually supposed to be here Monday. But you know what comes before that is this part of the show that we call. Uh oh. I just totally. I got to get a pattern down gotta get a pattern down there we go this part of the show that we call the joke portion of the program plug your ears turn up your mute buttons turn down your speakers unplug your laptops and turn off the screens what did the doctor tell the patient wait patiently Mm -mm, not much this week. I think there's a couple of them, though. <clears throat> what did Bruce Lee... Did... Yeah. Did Bruce Lee have a non-aggressive son called Patient Lee? Just trying out different versions of the same joke. One more of them. What do you call Bruce Lee when he's resting because of an injury? Patient Lee. Nope. Actually, and shout out to to Joan E. Rotten for um, and uh, Rotten Studios and crocheting and all of that for um, coming by the show last week. She was live. I, I stopped over at her channel and said hello before before I started the show. And of course, I was late today, but uh, we're still doing it. And I 
Oh, and it, Jeanette's listening to this later. Yes, I got my car fixed. I'm so excited. I got I got my balls fixed. I found my bearings, and actually, it was uh, that new strut mount that's only two months old. Yeah, and so the funny thing is, I was talking to uh, Partly Cloudy, who lives in Detroit, and he said he worked at Detroit Axle, the company. And Harley Grower was in his chats, who's been a mechanic for a lot of years and is really smart with cars and other things. And so this mechanic who deals with a lot of parts, he's like, yeah, Detroit Axle, good. This guy who lives in Detroit, worked at the company, says Detroit Axle, no, bad. So what I found is they got good rotors, but man, the strut tower mounts, both of them are toast out of the box. The one of them was so bad, so bad. And this other one, the driver's side's going bad too. So actually what I did instead of getting new struts again, is I used the struts, but I, I got a spring, com spring compressor, and so I'm going to compress them down. And that's a non-funny car story in the middle of the joke portion. But I, yeah, it started out with a shout out to Joni Rotten because I can't crochet for knot because crocheting involves a lot of knots for knot. Yeah. Anyway, where can you find a natural psychiatrist? Whole moods. We're going to try this so I don't have to keep like, yeah, over there. Okay. Yeah, natural psychiatrist, whole moods. Why did the artist keep drawing animals? Because he had a wild imagination. This year, Halloween was a little hollow. Most popular costumes were Scarf Face, Bubble Boy, and RGB Ghost. Terrible jokes. Do we got anything better? What time do gorillas go to bed? 8.30. What did the contractor say at beer 30? I'm running behind. I guess I'll have to work a little longer. Is a female beatnik called a mommy -o? Didn't I tell that joke before? Why did the dungeon master tell bad jokes? To inflict punishment. Why did the farmer see explosive growth? Because he planted a bomb. Oh ho ho! What did the invisible woman say when someone forgot to social distance? Sorry, force field of habit. Boom! That's a shout out to Perth. What do robots eat for breakfast? Bolts of cereal. Last one, I swear. Why did the squirrel steal my bolts? He had a lot of nuts. Because he watches the joke portion of the program. Yeah, you guys are great. I love you all so much for coming by. We actually need to change to a shout-out portion of the program where I have, like, slides of all of your channels going by. Oh, that is so cool. We're writing that one down. <clears throat> Yeah, let's see, we will have, where do we go, gem to the live portion, we'll do season three shout out slide with slide show, because you deserve it, you're great, you're fantastic, you're wonderful, you're lovely, I do the show for you, I do the show, I do the show for everyone. But it's you who come by and help inspire me to make it better. And you actually put forth your effort into the show, and it's reflected back. I try to actually reflect that back. I appreciate it so much. And Benny Loco made it. I appreciate all of you who made it by. Colette stopped in. We got great stones. I didn't even get started showing you the fantastic stuff she's got. It's so heavy. I can't even show it on that. There's not enough room in the microscope. We're going to have to use the Rockdale cam. And uh, Perth made it. Perth is so great. I, I hope she's enjoying her coffee. I hope she didn't spit any of it out. Perth, I'm out of peanut butter. I did. I did figure out. 
the chocolate chip cookies with peanut butter make great sandwiches. Chocolate chip cookies and peanut butter. Fantastic combo. And Christina and Sun Ghost Squad made it. I'm so happy she made it. Man, I'm always like, I hope she can make it to the show this week. And she did. And when is she going live again? Because she hasn't gone live in so long. And I haven't seen it. And also, if you have something you want to promote, tell us. Tell us about it. Drop your channel. Tell us about whatever you got coming up. Whatever you're planning to post. I'm going to read it if I can see it. Because, you know, I'm always like... Let's t let's talk about people's shows, and then you know things are happening and stuff goes on. And I should probably have some kind of video going. Didn't we uh, have this pray night video? Did we play all of this? I don't remember. I'm gonna go ahead and play more of it from the middle out. Great. Okay. There we go. Wonderful. Like all of you people who come by, such as Chris the Phenomenon, he's so fantastic. He actually grows a nice garden. When are you going to post more, Chris? He posted recently, and I need to see some more recent. I actually, I want to see them fruit trees, Chris. He's growing some lemons and some oranges and some pineapples and who knows what else he might try and postify and Benny Loco made it oh man that is so cool I'm always down for a crafting stream Joan what are you doing here I was just talking about you and also I was like alright after I'm done with my stream I'm gonna go back to Joan's stream so now what am I gonna go do I'm gonna have to go drive my car oh I love driving vroom vroom Joan, uh, did you finish your crochetery? That thing was beautiful. Wanted to stop by and give some love before I hit the sack. Oh, yeah, you got to hit that sack, and that sack's got all the hits in it. Yep. Then you hit the sack, and then you hit the hay, and then you hit you hit the bed. That's pretty much the the flow of things. You hit the, you hit the hay, and then you hit the sack, and then the sack means the sack of chips. And uh, then, yeah, then you hit the bed. And head to bed, literally. We're going to say, I love you all. You're all so fantastic. I'm going to update on that Ruby next week. We're probably going to be featuring some Blue Appetite. That's the plan. And I hope to see you all next week and every week. Make it a great week because I love you at 9 p.m. Eastern. Bye-bye.